what uh, what are we talking about today? Today we're going to go over the um, credit score nine one one loan. Mm-hmm. It's something that is becoming more and more not only popular but needed. Uh, we have people seeking us out daily. We're getting calls and emails mm-hmm. constantly just on. How do I fix something and how do I fix it quickly? Fix what? Like what are people looking to fix right now? Well, in the real estate world and even in the business world, what happens is when the Fed tightens everything up, credit score becomes more and more important. When rates go up, it's even more important because now um, your rates could be like between 8 and 10 or 12 or even a decline. What we're seeing more and more people is their credit score is dropping down below the threshold where you can actually even get a loan. So before, if your credit score, you know, like three or four years ago, dropped mm-hmm. down, there was always some kind of safety net, some kind of loan out there that you could get, and not anymore. There, everything's tightening up. So what's happening is we're having more and more people reach out. You know, I just had a gentleman from Alabama. He has seven properties he's trying to refinance, and his credit score is 19 points too low. How do you fix that quickly is what we call the credit score 911 loan. We go in pay off all of his credit credit cards with a non-reporting loan and his credit score shoots up. Hmm. And we know it shoots up because when we've tested it, we've used it on a lot of people, but he actually went through a simulator on my FICO and within two weeks on a lot of our people, the hmm. credit scores going up so they're getting the loans, not only for real estate, but for business too. So what we're doing is we're fixing a little bit of a error an error that they're not used to. They're used to the old way where even if you had a little bit of hiccup on your credit score, there was something for them. Mm-hmm. Now there's not. So we're looking at this as an emergency because people have to get in, refinance quickly. Um, too many people get on this little roller coaster of how do I get out of, like this gentleman, He's he has a choice. He could either do a, a 911 you know, credit score rescue loan um, or he could just sit on his properties or have to sell them because there's no loan options out yeah, there. It sounds right like now. a no-brainer to go for it, this loan anyway. I mean, <laughs> It is a no-brainer. It is a no-brainer when it works because we are doing a favor for you know a lot of people out there getting them into a long-term loan while there's still loans available. That makes sense. Okay, so if I'm understanding, I didn't know you could loans could be used for something like this. So now the name makes sense to me. It's like, hey, Mike, 911, I can't get an, a loan now for my next property. Is that right? So you, the 911 credit score loan is is meant to improve their credit score. That's the whole purpose of the loan? Yeah, and the 911 is in there because it's mm-hmm. it's something that we do quickly because it's, it's at mm-hmm. least, okay. it doesn't, you know, it's like 30 days or less. Mm-hmm. Like your credit is fixed or your credit score improves in 30 days or less. Like I mentioned before, we've had several people that within two weeks, their credit score shot up and they were able to do what they needed to do, which is you know, either refinance, buy a new property if they're buying flips, or get into some kind of business loan. So the 911 is there because it's, it's something you could call, we could get it done quickly, and they're gonna be able to move into their, their next stage, the, the stage that they need to fix the problem that they have right now. Fantastic. Okay, that makes sense. And you said 30 days or less, sometimes two weeks. That's pretty wild. Yeah, it's all based on when your credit score or your credit cards report or when your credit card statements come out. Because when they when you get a new credit card statement, that's when they report to the credit bureaus. So when we say two weeks up to 30 days, it just depends on when your credit cards are paid off mm-hmm. and then when your next statement is due. Because when your okay. statement cuts is when they will report the new balances and that's when it'll, you know, change or affect your score in a positive way. And we always tell people like go to Credit Karma, TransUnion, MyFica or whatever, play mm-hmm. with their simulators cuz even before you contact someone like us or mm-hmm. do anything, um, you should know what the impact would be. You could go out there, they'll tell you if you pay off these credit cards, mm-hmm. this is what'll do your score immediately. Awesome. So and so that's what the the uh, nine one one credit score loan is. Or credit score nine one one. Am I saying that right? Credit score nine one one loan. Credit We're score nine one one. Used to it. Too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it 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 helps them pay off their credit cards quickly, and that's why it raises the credit score. It and they pays can them simulate off, that. Yeah, it pays them off quickly, and then we don't report to the credit bureaus, so they dis the balances disappear from the credit you know bureaus scoring models. Okay. It's not that they don't have to. They don't still owe the money. They just owe it to a non-reporting entity. So the only thing that impacts your credit score is what is reported to the credit bureaus. So it it helps them pay off their credit cards 
quickly, and that's why it raises the credit score. It and they pays can them simulate off, that. Yeah, it pays them off quickly, and then we don't report to the credit bureaus. So they dis, the balances disappear from the credit you know, bureaus scoring models. Okay. It's not that they don't have to, they don't still owe the money, they just owe it to a non reporting entity. Gotcha. So the only thing that impacts your credit score is what is reported to the credit bureaus. Gotcha. And what we're doing is we're taking off the credit cards that are reported and we're moving them to a loan that does not report, that does not show up. So it's an immediate impact on their credit scores. So what this helps our investors and business owners is, you know, typically what we're finding is, number one, they're getting declined. So they're not even able to get the next fix and flip loan or the next rental loan or to refinance the properties that they need to refinance. So the number one benefit is they actually now are open and get a loan. Number two that we see, like for the big benefits here, or fix and flip and even rental people, they put in less money on each deal. So the higher credit score, mm -hmm. the less the lenders are requiring you to put in. So like if you're doing a fix and flip and you have a 780 credit score, mm -hmm. they may require you to put in 10%. If you have a 680 score, they say 20 or 30%. So if you're doing a $400,000 purchase and you have to put in 10%, that's 40 grand. If you have to put in 30%, mm -hmm. you know, that's 120,000. Yeah, it's way more. Yeah. Right? So yeah, it makes a huge difference. And you may not be able to come up with that kind of money. I, it, I certainly cannot. That yeah. is true. <laughs> it impacts your, your interest rate on your rental properties. Mm -hmm. If you're a real estate investor, it impacts you in so many ways. Most people are just not used to it because it, it hasn't been a factor the last 10 or 12 years. Mm. It's going to be a factor for the next several years, not only for real estate, but for business owners too. There's just less money out there available. So the people who get it, the businesses who get it, are the people with a better credit score.